Hello everybody and welcome back to another figure review. Today, another Marvel Legends. Again, I don't collect <laughs> as much Legends as of recently, but I think this vision is very much worth it. Just the improved, you know, articulation and body mold that they used this time around fits the character a bit better, I think. I will compare it to the vintage or retro carded version, the one that has a sort of more metallic colors and whatnot. Um, but here we are again with Marvel Legends. We're back with that um, windowed packaging that so many people, um, you know, a lot of people gave their opinions and a lot of people analyzed the whole situation. As to why windowed is better than no window and whatnot. Um, but yeah, we are back to the window packaging. Here we have some nice art on the side. His name, Marvel logo. And then I assume this is his own sort of symbol there for Vision. Legend series there. Beautiful window there. And again, the art there on the side. And then we have the art here on the back as well. You do have the read up on Vision there, so if you want to read that, you can go ahead and pause there. And then we have the other figures of this wave, which I'm not really too interested in other than Power Princess. And that's about it, um, even though I don't know who that is. She just looks like a cool female character. Um, but again, I don't know her too well, so I'm not in a hurry to buy her and, you know, I wouldn't know where to put her on the shelf. Um, but this Vision is going to replace the old one and we're gonna go ahead and use our scapel here to unleash the vision himself and there's some nice sort of background um, insert in there that you can probably take some pictures with so i may take a picture with him with his backdrop here um you know just kind of generic powder smoky kind of background you do get you know typical paper and then you have the figure and the tray and the build a figure piece there so let me get everything out and we'll take a closer look at vision so taking a quick look at accessories we're gonna stand them up first you know just to have them here side by side with the old retro carded version but to get a quick look at the accessories and the build figure piece which I will say, this Build-A-Figure does look very cool. I don't know enough about, you know, this villain. Um, but I think the sculpt looks great for this Build-A-Figure. Um, it's a shame I'm not too interested in the other characters. If not, I would complete this. So this is just going to go into my bag of incomplete Build-A-Figure pieces. Um, but yeah, there's a look at that. Looks very cool. Um... And Vision comes with two other open hands. He does come with this out of the box, but you have two other open hands here. Sculpted nicely, you know, generic hands from Marvel Legends. Um, but with that being said, let's take a quick look at Vision himself. Now, if you do have your Vulcan, you pretty much know um, what we're dealing with, um, this essentially became the new Bucky Cap, you know. Um, you know, pinless arms and legs and just a new sort of body proportion compared to that of the Bucky Cap. Um, so yeah, now every <laughs> new um, sort of character that we have, for the most part, tends to use this Vulcan body mold. So that's what it's known as now. Um, but you can see the similarities there in sculpt and whatnot. Uh, mostly down here at the legs. You can see how all that is reused. Up here, it's also reused. And you can see a little bit of that seam that we have here. This forearm is, you know, a separate piece for some reason. Going from here to here. Um, there is a cut there. So unfortunately, we do get that cut here. And it just looks very apparent. And there's no articulation there, so that's also a shame. So, I don't know. Um, I don't know if they can, you know, <laughs> better hide that. Um, so that it doesn't have the seam. 
or you know just make it a you know movable forearm articulation there but it, the seam is just there and it is very apparent which is kind of a shame because it does break up you know his arm and whatnot um but other than that yeah it's just a vulcan body mold um good range of articulation overall have your ab crunch can crunch back a little bit he does have the sturdy cape um he does have his waist swivel arms go out about that much down your bicep swivel double jointed arms and then all of his hinges are horizontal so they go side to side you do have your butterfly joints so that's pretty good there you can kick forward back not so much out a little bit uh your upper thigh cut double jointed knees and he can you know kick his own abs you have your boot cut there feet go back forward and then you do have ankle pivot and i believe he is still on a disc hinge so yeah excuse me um he does have the disc hinge and you know he can look up pretty well down pretty well you don't get as much pivoting i don't really care about the pivoting as long as he can look up and down you know you can get him into some good looking around poses the neck piece doesn't really affect that at all so yeah overall pretty good articulation and mostly everything is just painted on there's no you know unique sculpt or whatever uh, mine does have a small defect here um uh, on his arm here the yellow paint isn't really connecting there and over here is the same thing on the back side on this arm sort of the same thing going on yeah so you can see that there's some separation there i think if it was placed a little bit better maybe it would have hidden that seam but that's what we get and then here's those black stripes on his abs looking fairly clean down here at the boots looking okay there is certainly a difference in yellow i can kind of see that while zoomed in this is a bit more shiny this is a little more matte you can see how this reflects more than the bottom there so yeah a little bit of a difference there green looks fine the oops i'm trying to zoom out a little bit there's the you know little diamond on his chest um i almost thought you know his body was textured but it's not <laughs> So there's that green there there's some nice little detail here for his cape you know holding the cape together there at the neck and then for the most part the face sculpt is what really gravitated me to getting this updated one i mean the body as well i just like the proportions and the more matte finish to this figure rather than the super shiny um retro carded one the cape is very it's not as pliable down here at the edges it is but here it's super sturdy and not as pliable it's a bit of a shame um but yeah, there's that head sculpt again there's the little um stone on his forehead eyes came out great everything just came out great green for the head also came out amazing so yeah i'm overall happy with this vision and again here's a comparison of the old and new yeah i just it just looks very skinny and <laughs> very slim with this other version and i like vision to have a little more mass so this new one delivers on that department and as you can see there the new one just looks far more superior i think in my opinion get that out of the way you can see he's a little bit taller as well yeah i just like the colors in this a lot more than this i mean this looks fine but definitely prefer this one so yeah this guy's gonna get replaced unfortunately we do have Ultron here and um, Scarlet Witch here who is on the base here but she can stand fine on her own. 
she just tends to be on the edge of my display so you know i don't want her to fall over and whatnot i really wish we get a scarlet witch with updated you know articulation because these flimsy legs you can see how they're um bending inwards and whatnot but here we have the most recent ultron which a lot of people didn't like i don't mind it this was a gift from my girlfriend um but yeah i like the height differences scarlet witch is a little shorter than vision and ultron is slightly taller than vision himself so yeah i think they um you know stand pretty pretty well with each other makes for a great display i like the, the amount of variety and color here um but yeah that's size comparison with those two and i think that does it for this review all right so let me know what you guys think about this new vision i think an updated comic version was very well needed and i'm glad hasbro delivered and they didn't make him some sort of weird two-pack exclusive and whatnot um you know he was released um, regularly and um, for the most part he tends to be in stock everywhere um, so he shouldn't be too hard to get I did get mine from Amazon um, so he's still available on there but I think this is a good upgrade to vision and if you don't have a vision then it's a great pickup um, but that does it for me today I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in a future video